Your daddy was home when you left. You're right. Your sister was home when you left. You're right. Your brother was home when you left. You're right. The dog was home when you left. You're right. The cat was home when you left. You're right. The fish was home when you left. You're right. Your mommy, your daddy, your brother, your sister, the dog, the cat, the fish was home when you left. You're right. And that's the reason you left. You're right. I left my home. I left my home. To join the army. To join the army. Hey guys welcome back to my channel i'm going to be talking about the navy and the rf yes i know it's the first time i'm talking about it and this is because um i was a little bit reluctant to address the topic because i find the navy and the rf to be a little bit more tricky it's a bit trickier than the army but um, for the past week or so, I've had two um, of my followers asking about the Navy um, in particular. And I've also been asked about the RAF, the special services, all of that. But I'll not be touching on those. I'll just be briefly talking about the Navy and the RAF. Um, like I said, I was a little bit reluctant to talk about it because it is not as straightforward as as the army um i shouldn't say straightforward not that it's not straightforward but it's not as easy as the army is to get into that's just my opinion based on experience based on what i've seen even those that are actually in the army that wants to transfer to RAF or the navy they'll tell you that these you know it's a little bit challenging but it is doable so um might as well I talk about it because I'm sure I'm going to get more questions about it and so on. Because at present, the Navy, you can apply and so on. Because, yes, guys, the Navy has always been taking Commonwealth soldiers. As for the RAF, I've never known of anyone that joined from the Commonwealth. But I know that they also do take Commonwealth soldiers. And, you know, Commonwealth are those that are under the Commonwealth. As you see in my, all of my videos, Jamaica, Nigeria, the Caribbean, you name it. Those countries that were colonized by the British Empire. So back to what I was saying in terms of... So back to what I was saying in terms of can you join the Navy or RAF? Yes, you can join from the Commonwealth. For me, um, I just think it's a little bit more tricky. And... Um, I don't want to give you the wrong choice. I don't want to say the, I don't want to say the wrong choice of words. Mm. All right, let me not use the word tricky. Um, you need more. Put it this way: you need a lot more to join the Navy or the RAF. For example, um, you need qualifications as, as opposed to the Army, where there are rules that you don't need any formal qualification, i.e., CXE, to join. In regards to the Navy and the RAF they are a bit more they are a bit different um i think i'll compare it to for example jamaica defense force and um the jamaica um constabulary force now with jamaica constabulary force you need more formal education you need formal more formal education to join but with the jamaica defense force it is a little bit more relaxed when it comes on to quals so again that's the same when it comes on to the army with the army, you definitely need, um, with the army, you can definitely get in without any CXEs um, or GCSEs. But with the Navy and the RAF, you're gonna need more. Maybe that's why we always call them the Gucci. So we call them the prom, posh, um, the Gucci force. Because they get a lot more than we do. Army tend to get the worst accommodations. It's the truth. Um, the Navy and RAF, they're a little bit more pumped and pushed. They get the nice hotels and they go on tour. They don't really get it as hard as we do. They get their, even their entry requirement in terms of physical fitness. It's far easier than the Army. Army is a little bit more hardcore. You need to be, you need to be a bit more fitter. <laughs> I mean, no offense to um, uh, um, RAF friends, Katie, 
or whoever you know who you are <laughs> but yeah you need to be a little bit more fitter to join the army but when it comes on to quals the navy and the RAF they're gonna require more from you and uh, like I said that's that is the reason why I don't really that's what like I said that's one of the main reasons why I don't really promote it or talk about it well because I'm asked uh, I said you know I could brush over it for those who want to join um, at the moment though they're still um, not accepting Commonwealth soldiers at least that's what they say guys I told you it works they just you just keep trying and eventually you'll be you you'll see that they take you because they're not gonna come out and tell you that they're taking applications that's what's so hmm that's, that's what's challenging about it um i get why they do it though because if you think about it they don't really need to recruit because the army kind of self recruits it's the same with the navy and the raf pretty much people just find them so it's a little, it's a little, you know, they don't really need to recruit as much. So they don't need to announce anything because they get so much applications, if you understand what I mean. But yeah, I'm um, going back to the topic. Yes, guys, to answer the question. Yes, you can join the Navy and the RAF as well. But like I said, you will definitely need to have formal um education so you definitely need to have qualifications like i.e cxc's at least the minimum i think you need to have is about three subjects to join the navy and the raf um also <laughs> this is another thing guys also you will need to be able to swim to join the navy obviously because the navy is it's about ships you'll be on the ship so Obviously, that's one of the requirements. So swimming is definitely a requirement. You can't join without um, being a competent swimmer, which means they're going to test you. So you can't say you can swim and then when you go there, you can't pass the swimming test because a swimming test is a part of the assessment process. You see why, guys? I don't really talk about the Navy and the RAF because it's a bit more uh, things that you need. And for me, I just think the army is good enough. It's a, it's a bit more straightforward, in my opinion, and in regards to Commonwealth. I just think it's, 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 it's just more straightforward. But for those of you who, you know, for those of you who think you can, you know, join, you want to try, um, if you can swim, if you have at least three CXEs, um, you know, and you think that you want to give it a shot, I would definitely recommend you, you know, try to join. Um, it is pretty much the same opportunities as the army, but even better because it's easier training, easier everything. It's just the truth. The army is more difficult than the RAF. They themselves will admit that. So I would say if you want to, definitely give it a try. Nothing try, nothing done, guys. Um, so yeah definitely you can apply so if you want to give it a shot you never know you might be lucky and you get that great yes from the navy or the raf there you go um before i go guys i just want to ask a question because um i've been thinking to you know i've been thinking if you guys want me to um give you some pointers in terms of what to expect for those that are starting basic training what to expect on the first day of basic training and throughout the old basic training as well um also if you guys want me to do videos on um my experience in terms of as a female in the in the army i can do that just let me know in the comment section also you know um if you want to know what it's like after you finish basic training i can also give you i can also do a video about that so guys just leave the comments in the comment section what you would like to see in terms of because i want to drop these army videos this mil these military videos in now and then so if you just leave some comments on what you'd like to see um me address then are things you'd like me to answer or address talk about 
or talk about then i'll definitely do that guys so guys that's really it for today um yeah please do give, give the please do give this video a thumbs up if you like it and um like i said leave a comment in the comment section or whatever you'd like to ask me leave a comment in the comment section of what you like to what you like me to talk about in my drop in military videos so yeah guys um you do take care until next time godspeed bye guys